Oh my god, it just keeps going. How many penguins did I spawn in? What's up guys and welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Now it's been a little while since I've played this game and apparently in the time that I've been away, they've updated it a lot. There's now a new unit, a bunch of new mechanics, and I figured since I'm a little bit late to the party, I would just combine everything into one giant abomination of a video. Sounds like fun. There's the battle cry of our new unit, the kangaroo. I wanna say that it's ridiculous, but we've already had chickens and penguins and tortoises and furniture and zombies and Chuck Norris. So you know what, it just, it makes sense. So I figured maybe we should test out the new animal by facing them against the rest of the animal kingdom. I don't really hear any animal noises, but we'll give it a try. I'm curious if they actually have any kind of attack. Oh yeah, look at that. They actually do have an attack animation. That's good because I was a little bit underwhelmed by the furniture. They just kind of bumped into each other. You kind of expected them to hit each other with their drawers or something like that, but no, they actually jump up and kick with their hind legs. Pretty sweet. They are somehow dying to tortoises though. That's not super promising. Oh no, <laughs> the tortoises are getting flanked by the penguins though. That's not fair. They have home field advantage here, which is another thing. We're also playing on a new map. I haven't shown you guys this before. Santa? What are you doing here? Where, where did he come from? What is he doing? He's just bleeding out of his everything. I must have I must have forgotten to remove Santa from the last battle that I set up. I'm pretty sure that's Super Santa from the end of the last episode. It makes sense. He disappeared. We found that he probably went back to the North Pole and that's uh, technically probably where we are right now. He's pissed off that all these damn animals are fighting on his front lawn. He is just pummeling turtles into the ground right now. That can't land you on the nice list. Watching this Super Santa fight is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> because he just blinks and then it's just a cloud of blood. It seems many of the kangaroos have given up fighting. They've started huddling for warmth because even if they do win the battle, this isn't exactly a good place for them to end up. Especially because, let's be honest, the neighbors aren't very nice. What you doing, Santa? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, did, did they just kill Santa? Or is he so freaking fast that he just teleported? What happened? You guys saw that, right? I'm pretty sure I caught that. <laughs> he just disappeared. Again! Why does he always do that? Super Santa just gets fed up of a battle and disappears. But we're already in the North Pole, so where does he go? I guess we're gonna find out because once they finish off the rest of these turtles, then it's their job to hunt down Santa. Okay, it looks like they're on the trail. They can smell him, right? Kangaroos are like bloodhounds. <laughs> this game is so stupid. I love it though. Like, in what game would you have an army of kangaroos searching for Santa Claus in the frozen wilderness? Night is falling. I can't tell if they're freezing to death or if Santa's cheating again. I want to say that Santa's cheating again because he's magic. He can just escape the map, whereas they can't. So, sucks to be you guys. I mean, you did turn out to be the best animal. So, congratulations. You're the leader of the animal kingdom. Your prize is, uh, Freezing to death on Santa Claus's lawn. Now I know what you guys are thinking. That's particularly cruel and unusual to leave an army of kangaroos out in the frozen tundra to die overnight. But no, it's not. That's how you weed out the warriors. That's survival of the fittest. And we have a survivor. We have the ultimate kangaroo warrior in Fred. Fred here has survived avalanches, the cold, the harshness of the northern poles. Santa's front lawn. And uh, he even managed to whittle himself a bow. He's been hunting penguins. Kangaroos don't normally eat penguins, believe it or not. And uh, you can kind of tell because the penguins seem to have gotten fed up with his shit. Now, Fred, I know I just said that you have survived avalanches, but please don't get smooshed. That would uh, kind of defeat the video, right? There we go. Okay, he's good. So, you know what? 
Bring it on, penguins. I'm not afraid of you. I'm just gonna hang out here. This is my frozen tundra now. If I've run into Santa Claus, then uh, I'll, I'll have to take it from him. I'll take all his stupid little elves, too. <laughs> Fred, don't fire until you can see the whites of their cute little suits. Ready? Oh, okay, no, screw it. <laughs> Fred, <laughs> what is this aim? You've hit everything but a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, as you can see, they've changed unit customization. Now you can make any unit ranged, you can give them any ammo type. It really opens up the possibilities of what you can create, like the fully automatic archer kangaroo Fred, who is just gonna decimate the penguin population. Uh, I really did make his accuracy 100%, so... I'm not totally sure what he's aiming for, but he's hitting it 100% of the time. You see that blade of grass, that rock, that snowflake? Nailed it, 100% accuracy, don't question Fred. Especially if you're a penguin, there are so many freaking penguins. <laughs> god, it's like Happy Feet if it was rated R. Oh my god, it just keeps going. How many penguins did I spawn in? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, we might be here a little while. Oh, I mean, unless uh, some of them get squished by an avalanche. I still don't expect that to help a whole lot. Fred, I hope you brought a lot of arrows. Pray to the avalanche gods, Fred. I need you to do this. Oh, oh, okay, that's what I'm talking about. We finally got the right gods. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really get all that many of them when you consider how many there are, but I don't know why it's so satisfying to see penguins get squished by a giant boulder. I swear, I'm not psychotic in real life. It's just uh, amusing. Oh my god, there are so many left. It's like penguin stockwood back here. We're gonna be here for days. Okay, you know what, Fred? I don't think I can wait. You've proven your point. A fully automatic archer kangaroo is pretty badass. Now as great as Fred was, he's only the beginning in what I believe can be the best unit in this game. If you take a zombie and you turn him into a ranged unit, does he keep his ability to turn other things into zombies? Because if he does, that's gonna be really overpowered. So once again, we're gonna go with 100% accuracy. Oh, you can't have 100%. I tried to put in a hundred for Fred and it must have put in 10. No wonder his aim was so shit. 99% accuracy, we're gonna give him bullets and I'm gonna give him a ton of health and a ton of damage, a bunch of range, attack speed, everything. He's, he's pretty much gonna be a super unit, except hopefully he'll be able to shoot people into zombies. We will name him Gunby. Where is he? Come on, Gumby, you haven't got all day. The chickens are gonna freeze to death waiting for you. Oh, there you go, okay. 20,000 chickens versus one zombie bullet wielding zombie. Versus one Gumby before the avalanche comes. Go, 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 go. Ready, fire! Fire, fire! Fire? Uh, Gumby? Those look an awful lot like arrows. And where are they going? I did, I definitely gave him bullets, right? Why is he shooting arrows into the sky? It's so many arrows though, and it doesn't seem to really be working. I mean, he's not making more zombies. I don't know if he's technically making more chickens either. I don't know if they're dying. Go, go, go. Fire, fire. Get, oh, oh, okay. Uh, They seem to be exploding. But they're not turning into zombies. No, it doesn't work. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought for sure it would work. So, yeah, he, he seems to turn them into feathers, not zombies. Little disappointing. I'm not 100% sure if they're attacking him or just feeding at his feet. I mean, it's effective. It's just not what I wanted. Wonder what would happen if we tried to make a table fire catapult rocks. Not just any catapult rocks, though, like a lot of catapult rocks. 
Those clever kangaroos are using tree cover to mask their numbers. I'm willing to bet that Fred rallied the survivors and taught them a thing or two. It's not gonna matter, because they're not gonna be able to do anything against Santa's century table. If you ever wanted to try to get into the North Pole, this is what you need to get past. Um, that's a little underwhelming. Shouldn't you be shooting stuff? Boulders and things, right? that That's a stampede of kangaroos. Another thing I never thought I'd say. Okay. Oh, you're just gonna like point blank fire at them? You shoot so quickly that we can't even see the boulders? <laughs> it's just like puff, puff, poof of smoke, and then a just dead kangaroo. Oh man, why, why are these so disappointing? Believe it or not, I didn't feel like watching 35,000 kangaroos get shot in the face by a table. I know, people think that I'm sadistic. Okay, don't call PETA. I'm not really into this kind of thing. It's just a game, but uh, I upgraded his range. So hopefully now, there we go. It's just gonna rain down boulders. <laughs> why, why would you shoot into the middle of the crowd, right? I mean, I guess in all reality, once they get up close, you, you don't have any choice but to, yeah, evaporate the nearby ones. <laughs> I feel like, uh, might need more tables. Why don't we try that? Maybe we should call in reinforcements. Fred might be able to rally the survivors, but Santa can always make more tables. He's got nothing else to do in the middle of May. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> okay, well on the upside, kangaroos, you don't need to worry about getting cold in the snow because it's snowing boulders. Really wanna know what all that black smoke is. Like, is that what's inside a kangaroo? I've always wondered. They're keeping some kind of dirty secret in their pouch and it's not just a baby, trust me. That's what they want you to think. Oh, avalanche. Tables don't like avalanches. Natural enemy, believe it or not. Um, yeah. So much for the kangaroos. The kangaroos that are left don't even see where this fire is coming from. They're like mortar tables because they're in a different area code and they're getting pelted by boulders. They started all the way over here. They're only just now funneling off this plateau uh, right into the volley. Yeah, sucks to be you guys. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, guys. And I feel like we really accomplished something here today. Even though I know that I haven't covered everything. There's still some stuff that I wanted to fit in this episode. People really want to see me try the city map and a bunch of like eight team battles distributed all across the map and that kind of stuff because I tend to play the game a lot more like it's tabs because I love experimenting. I love making fully automatic arrow shooting kangaroos, Super Saiyan Santas, Chuck Norris birthing zombies, super fast chickens, you name it, I have a lot of fun with it. So if you have any more ideas for weird custom units or if you wanna see me try something else, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll try to combine it all into another abomination of an episode. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.